TCU Sonny Dykes. They come back and win in double overtime, 43 to 40. They were down 17 points. 17 points to come back and win their largest deficit since coming back from 18 in the 2017 Valero Alamo Bowl. And now you've got a Big 12. If you watch this channel and if you watch this show, you know I'm a huge fan of the Big 12 because of how entertaining it is. Yesterday was another example. TCU, now after their first six of those starts since 2017, Sonny Dykes comes over from SMU. Max Duggan, the quarterback, started off as the backup. He's now the starter, 343 yards total offense, three touchdowns responsible for. And there's just something special going on in Fort Worth. I mean, they were down 17 points. Spencer Sanders in Oklahoma State was doing whatever they wanted, whenever they wanted. And it looked as if Mike Gundy was going to have this team put in a great position to start the season off 6-0, and move into the top. Let's call it they were eighth coming in. They were certainly going to move in to the top six because of all the happenings of yesterday. And they come up short. But now TCU is a program in the Big 12 that's sitting there at the top. I'm going to pull up the standings here because I, I really want to drive home for you how entertaining the rest of the way is going to be in the Big 12. Have a look at this. Right now in the Big 12, we, we know TCU is undefeated 6-0 and overall. They're 3-0 and in conference. Kansas State, 3-0 and in conference. Texas Longhorns, 3-1, and one, and then Oklahoma State, 2-1. and one. TCU, Kansas State, excuse me, Kansas State, Texas, and Oklahoma State. This thing is going to go down to the end. And because of the round-robin format, meaning there aren't divisions, so there's a possibility of a, let's call it, TCU-Oklahoma State rematch. There's a possibility Texas and Sark can get in there. Quinn Ewers, they had another the escape victory. Uh, from the jaws of defeat with Iowa State. But TCU is an example. We were watching that game, and, it, you know, we watched that game yesterday in studio. And we, when you look at that 330 window, Galloway and I are sitting there. It's like, well, I want to watch Alabama, Tennessee. It's such a good game. Yeah, but you got this game on ABC that looks really, really good, too. You got to keep an eye on Oklahoma State, TCU. And so we're going back and forth, back and forth. Oklahoma, TCU was a blowout to start. Like I said, uh, Oklahoma State was up 17. Alabama, Tennessee was always entertaining because every time you looked up, they were scoring. And then Galloway and I looked down. I'm like, dude, you got to keep an eye on Oklahoma State, TCU. This game got close. And lo and behold, uh, Sonny Dykes, Max Doug, and TCU, uh, they get the win in their home yard in Fort Worth. There was a good field storming there. By the way, field, field storming to me, when it's deserved, is one of the great things in all of sports. I believe that we probably do a little bit too much in basketball, but a, a field storm in college football, like we saw in Knoxville in those drone shots from last night. I don't know if there's a blimp or what the hell was up there. It's as good as it gets. It's as good as it gets. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN plus.